What's going on YouTube? It's Frags and I'm bringing you guys a quick little vlog video. Uh, I just want to give you guys an update as to what's going on in my life and uh, what you guys can expect from me coming up in the next few weeks and months. Um, so I'm just going to put it out there. I don't know if any of you guys know this. I'm sure a lot of you do because I'm, I'm pretty open about it and I talk to a lot of my uh, just Xbox friends and followers and subscribers about it. I still live with my parents and I'm 21 years old and that's pretty ridiculous. And it's pretty like stereotypical for all the gamers, you know, like, oh, you probably live in your mom's fucking basement. And that's not really the case, but I mean, I do live with my parents. And I've been given a time limit, and I've known it for quite a while now, and I'm moving out in the next two weeks. October 15th is when I'm moving out. And as of right now, I work two jobs, and I'm just trying to figure out what my next move is going to be. I have a few options in front of me. And I want to let you guys know that I'm, I'm going to try to make as many videos as possible, but I can't promise anything uh, because the next few weeks in real life are going to take a lot more precedence over gaming uh, as far as as far as far the way I look at it because in order to bring you guys gaming content be an active contributor to just the esports community in general, um, I need to have a place to live and <laughs> I need to be able to pay the bills and do stuff like that. So once I get better set up, I'm going to make as many videos as possible and it's going to be a great thing. Uh, for right now, I, I'm looking for a place to live, whether that's going to be an apartment, a house, a uh, condo, if it's going to be local, if I'm going to be sharing rooms, uh, I might move out of, move far away. Like right now, I live in Los Angeles. Um, I might move out of LA. LA is really expensive. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, for me to find like a, like a cheap, maybe studio or one bedroom apartment in like the ghetto in like a crappy area, it's well over a thousand dollars a month easy and uh, that's not easy for people to afford especially with minimum wage jobs uh, I work two jobs and they're both above minimum wage but not far above it and I need to be able to pay the bills you know and, and rent isn't the only thing you know you gotta pay all sorts of utilities you gotta pay for internet and phone and insurance and food and clothes and almost all sorts of bills you know and you gotta buy stuff and spending money and you gotta be able to do tons of stuff you know and it's not cheap to survive so I'm looking for cheap alternatives places I can move maybe whether that's out of just Los Angeles in general or out of California or maybe even out of America <laughs> I really don't know it's it's pretty crazy I got about 13 days to make my mind up though so I don't know I'm gonna figure it out soon well, if any of you guys are 18 or over if you guys live by yourselves or whatever I would appreciate any feedback any comments if you want to drop them in the YouTube video or in the comment section below let me know what you guys think uh, any stories about you guys moving out, what helped you, anything, I'd appreciate any help, you know. Um, I have lived away from my parents before. Another thing I don't know if you guys know about me, I was in the Army. Um, I did move out when I was when I graduated high school, and I served in the United States Army as an airborne infantryman, and I did that. And then I came back, and my plan was to come back, uh, live with my parents for the first few months, get on my feet, and then move out and do my own thing but financial issues kind of made it a little bit of a problem and I ended up staying with them. It's been a l almost a year now since I got out and I've been living with them. So I mean, it's, it's my own choice to get out. They want me out, but I want, I want out more than they want me out. I want to get out and start my own life and do my own things. It's just money is crazy, especially in this economy and with minimum wage jobs and no, no real skills other than being a fucking gamer and just, uh, I mean, being a veteran definitely helps you get jobs, but it's not as helpful as some as you would some of you would think. A lot of employers actually don't like veterans because they think they're crazy and they're temperamental and whatever else, and they're gonna go on a shooting spree and shoot the fucking place up. That's not the way it is. And if it was, I would let them know ahead of time. I would say I'm fucking crazy. Uh, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a cool dude. But yeah, so that's that's what's going on. Like I said, two weeks. I'm gonna be moving out. So for the next few next week, next few days, I'm still working but I'm going to be devoting 95% of my time to finding a place to live, uh, working it out with roommates and friends and family and whatever else. Uh, an opportunity for me, possibly, is to move all the way to Ireland. That uh, sounds crazy and random. It's not. I'm actually, I know I don't look it, <laughs> I'm half Irish, and I have a lot of family in Ireland, and that's an option for me is to move to Ireland and go live with them. Uh, I've been to Ireland about a dozen times in my life, and I love it there, and everything's awesome there. It's just uh, the job market there is not so good, and I don't know what I would do as far as a job there, uh, especially completely starting off fresh in another country. It would be kind of crazy, but it's an option. 
Another option is to move to either Austin, Texas or Kansas City where they got Google Fiber and move there just for the internet and try to room with some gamers and get a, like a serious like gaming apartment going. You know how like like big teams have team houses and everything? We can get like a community game apartment going. We can split bills and split rent and everything and still work normal jobs and be normal people but instead of rooming with a random person or a person who doesn't share similar interests, you room with a fucking gamer or somebody who who understands what you do and does the same thing or relatively the same thing and I'm sure that would help you guys get along a lot better have similar needs and similar schedules and just be able to get along and relate better so that's an option look into something like that or just move out and hopefully find a random apartment uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens I don't want to keep you guys too much longer it's already been six minutes almost so uh, that's pretty much it I, I will definitely try to bring you guys as much content as I possibly can, as soon as I possibly can, and I apologize for any delays, and for the next two weeks I'm still going to make as much content as I can, but like I said, a lot of my time is going to be occupied working and making a plan both financially and uh, living situation wise. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this video, hopefully it fills you in on a few things. Uh, let's, let's friggin' cross our fingers that I'm going to have a place to go and everything's going to be good before Advanced Warfare comes out because I am ready for that game. I'm ready to grind. But I don't know what my situation's going to be like. Um, all right. Well, thanks, guys. Have a great day, night, afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you're at, whatever time it is. Make it great. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.